If you've been in the field of data visualization for a while, you certainly heard about D3.js. D3 was one of the first JavaScript library available to create data visualization for the web. And although today we have a ton of other libraries and tools available, D3 is still one of my go tools when I want to do data bits. However, D3 is in favor for its steep learning curve and a lot of people get discouraged when they are learning it. And it takes a little bit of work to get used to it, but once you understand it, it can become super fun and even intuitive because it gives you so much control of, over what you're doing. In the new edition of D3GS in action, I teach building blocks uh, to learn D3 and to make the learning curve as easy and smooth as possible. And you learn through building along more than 15 data visualization projects from basic charts to a more complex one to how to approach creating new types of visualizations that are not an existing chart and getting off the beaten path. You can get your copy today at manning.com. You can find me on Instagram at delightfuldata.org.